Before we start the devlog, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons because you are the reason that I can keep doing this. So thank you so much for all your support. I would also like to say a special thanks to James Bond for his tier 5 sub this month and thanks to Scott Sikura for their tier 4 sub this month. Also, if you have any suggestions or ideas to this tutorial series when it's released, then please let me know in the comment section below. So, without further ado, let's get started with the devlog. The first thing I wanted to do was to create a character in Blender. I'm still learning, so I'm just going with a low poly style. These are the first things that I'm creating on my own in Blender, so please don't judge me too hard. I needed some resources for the game, so I decided to create a couple of tree models that I could chop down to get some wood for crafting. I needed a script to control the camera, so I just joined the camera script from a Udemy course because it's perfect for a third person camera like the one I'm going to use in this project. Before I could use the camera script I had to apply some gravity to my character, so I wrote a quick method to handle that. After the gravity was working I wrote a simple method to make the character move. The movement is going to look a bit awkward without animation, so I also created an animation for walking. And as you can see the first attempt wasn't perfect so I had to make a few adjustments. After a few adjustments I got a way better result. The next thing I wanted to do was to create a stone axe to chop down the trees. And then of course I also needed to create an animation for using the stone axe. When a tree has been chopped down I wanted to drop some wood materials that I can pick up, so I also needed to create a model for those drops. It's not very fun to be able to pick up materials without having an inventory, so I just stole the inventory from my RPG tutorial and adapted it to this new game. Later in the series I also want to be able to create a bonfire from the materials that I pick up, so I also need to create a model for that bonfire. To create the particle system for the fire, I used a tutorial made by Saharian Arts, and if you don't know their channel, you should probably check it out. There's a direct link to this tutorial in the video description below. Besides the wood materials, I also want to be able to farm some stones, so I need to create a big rock that I can break. As you can see, I had a couple of misfires in the beginning. I also want to be able to use different tools for different materials, so I had to create a pickaxe for mining the stone. This of course also required me to create a new animation for mining. The last thing I wanted to do was to create an action bar and the functionality for swapping tools. 